Hey friends, I want to share with you a quick tip about how to use BDAG, Bauer, Donker, Art and Gingrich, the standard Greek dictionary. And if you know how it's laid out and the type of information that it presents, it can make your use of it and your reading and exegesis of the New Testament a whole lot easier. So let me show you. Okay, here I have Logos Bible software set up. On the left, I have my Greek New Testament, and on the right, I have BDAG. Yesterday, I was looking at this particular verse, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 4, and I was puzzled over a certain phrase. Agar ha theos angelon hamarte santon uk afe sata. I was confused about angelon hamarte santon. Here we've got a genitive plural noun and a genitive plural participle. So I was wondering, is this a genitive absolute or is this modifying something else? Is this doing something else? On top of that, I also couldn't remember what efe sata meant. So I clicked on that and looked this up in BDAG. And here the lexical form for efe sata is phaedomai, means to save from loss or discomfort to spare. And then after that, you have tenas. This is where the trick comes in. So what is this tenas? Tenas is just your genitive singular form of tis t, your indefinite pronoun. Now, why do we have a form of tis t, in this case tenas, next to our verb for phaedomai? What's it doing here? What BDAG does is it uses tis t and all of the forms that go along with it to indicate what the case is that that verb takes as its object. Typically, the default is that a verb takes the accusative case as its direct object, but there are exceptions to this. And phaedomai is one of those exception type words. It takes its object not in the accusative case, but in the genitive case. So BDAG uses tisti, and in this case, tenas, to tell you that phaedomai, this verb, takes a genitive direct object, not an accusative one. So when we come back to the text here and we see that we have angelon hamarte santon, these are our genitive forms. And this is not going to be a genitive absolute. It's going to be the genitive object to efe sata because we know that efe sata takes a genitive direct object. So that's a quick little hack that you can use as you're using BDAG, not only to help you use BDAG, but also to make your life easier as you're doing exegesis.